hello guys in today's video we're going to be talking about iam users group and rules in data engineering cloud engineer and um, devops iam is one important resources you need to know so what what is iam IAM stands for Identity and Access Management in AWS Web Services. IAM is a service that enables you to manage access and permission for resources within your AWS environment. It allows you to securely control who can access your AWS resources and what action they can perform. So basically, IAM enables you to manage resources and permission within your AWS environment. So let's talk about IAM user. An IAM user is an identity with long-term credential that are used to interact with AWS in an account. The user represents a person that needs access to your AWS resources. Sorry for intruding. If you're enjoying my content, Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on the notification bell so you never miss an upload. It really helps me out and allows me to create more videos for you. Thank you so much for your support. Basically, IAM user is an individual who have access to interact with, with an AWS resources. An IAM group is a collection of IAM users. It simplifies the management of permission and access by allowing you to assign permission to a group instead of individually assigning permission to each individual. Let's say, for instance, in a department, let's say the data engineering department, using IAM gives you permission to give access to certain resources to a certain department which shares um, common goals and idea instead of assigning it individually to each IAM user. So a policy will be given directly to this group and anybody that is attached to that group will, be ha will enjoy the permission and access to the resources in AWS. So let's talk about the IAM rule. IAM rules are similar to user, but they are intended for AWS resources rather than individual users. Rules enable services or application running within your AWS environment to have their own set of permission. This helps ensure secure and controlled access to resources without the need for long-term credential. In subsequent video, we are going to see how rules work. Basically, rules are used for delegation. So let's talk about policies. So IAM policy are JSON documents that define the permission and actions allowed or denied for users, groups, or rules. Policy are attached to users, groups, or rules to grant or restrict access to specific AWS resources and services so let's have a deeper understanding of of iam user group rules and policies so so this is a diagram specifying the iam user the iam group the rules and policy so so like we said earlier policies define the permission and action allowed or denied for user or group or rules so basically the policies are json documents that gives you access to certain resources it specifies the resources that you have access to so this is a user this is a user so this is a user and the user has policies attached to it and and for a group a group of po policies can be attached to a group in which an individual user can assume can assume the policies attached to this group and still have his own 
individual credential attached to it and roles are used for delegation and are assumed so now let's talk let's talk about root user the, the root user is an individual user account created when you first create an aws account so when you first create an aws account you create an aws account you sign up with your email and provide your credential it has a um, full access to all aws resources it has complete administrative access and full control over all ad over all aws service and resources within the account the root user have the highest level of privilege and permission including the ability to create modify and delete aws resources it manage billings and manage access control to other user and resources the root user credential consists of an email address and a password that are used to log into your AWS management console, as well as to access the account programmatically using the AWS command line interface, CSL, or AWS API. It is important to note that the root user has unrestricted access to all resources and services, and its credential should be kept secure. Due to the board permission associated with the root user, it is considered best practice to create and use individual IAM user accounts with appropriate permission for day-to-day -day activity instead of relying on the root user. By using the IAM user, you can enforce the principle of least privilege, granting only the necessary permission to perform specific tasks and have better control and accountability over actions taken within the AWS account. It is also recommended to secure the root user account by enabling multi-factor authentication to add extra layer of security and minimize the risk of unauthorized access to the account. In subsequent video, we're going to talk about multi-factor authentication. Additionally, it is advisable to limit the use of the root user account to essential administrative tasks and create a separate IAM user with appropriate permissions for regular operation activities. Basically, that is the function of a root user. So this is it, guys. Um, thank you for watching my video and keep learning. God bless you all.